Awesome. What's up? Uh, Yo, what's, what's good, man? How are I'm you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great, man. Thank you so much for coming to the Terminal One podcast. Yeah. It's amazing to be here. I'm your host, Charlene. And for those who don't know, please introduce yourself. Okay. Um, I'm Bush Baby X and X for X rated. Mm hmm. Oh, my chairman them to know Hey, you're right. Okay. I'm a hip hop artist from Gweru, but now I'm based in Harare. But it's important that I tell people that I'm from Gweru, though, mm -hmm. to keep for posterity, yeah. right? Um, I'm also a community development practitioner. Um, I believe in climate activism, the rights of children and women. Mm -hmm peace building mm -hmm. and social entrepreneurship stuff like that yeah yeah it's kind of contradictory to the name though bush baby where did that name come from <laughs> yeah bush baby is sort of like i want to call it an ideal mm -hmm. or well philosophy sounds too kind of well you know uh it's like in two parts, right? The bush part of it is like, I'm really struggling with the whole idea of my identity. Okay. Right? I'm trying to figure out where I really come from. Mm. What part of the earth do I really call home? Mm -hmm. Do I really feel at home in my own body even? Okay. Right? So it's more like, I still want to maintain my connection with the rest of nature, mm -hmm. I guess. So bush is kind of an allusion to the jungle to nature to our animalistic tendencies not that i'm saying we should all be like animals yeah. but you know the chthonic part of it mm -hmm. like we belong to the earth we are rooted to the earth in as much earth. as we get all technology technologically advanced and stuff mm -hmm. we're still people of the bush yeah and the baby is like yo we need to keep our child mind we need to protect our child mind because mm -hmm. you look at all the wars that are happening right now and the lack of empathy that certain people have True. in the name of bigger ideals, it could be whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But I think all of the cause of all of that is because people are out of touch with their child mind, with their baby cells. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a reminder when you call, you know, Bush Baby X Ray, it's like, yeah, trying to figure out where we come from and you need to safeguard your child mind. Well, yeah. X rated is just can be vulgar sometimes <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 yeah. oh no that's actually pretty deep that's actually pretty deep yeah. now okay now your music makes sense because every time i listen to your songs hey i'm always like ah, but this is too deep it's too deep but like your name yeah. also it's not just a name yeah it's something that's deeper and i understand what you mean about how you know like what's that thing that people say during ash wednesday from dusk you came from the from oh, dusk yeah, you go back, you go back. yeah so that's, 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 I totally understand that. I totally understand. Thank you. All right. All right. So Mr. Many Names <laughs> called the Mago part. Where does it come from? Oh, Machemeze is a duo. Mm. Um, it's me, Bush Baby X rated and a guy called Spada KVS. Okay. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with the serpent, right? Yeah. Spada KVS happens to be the serpent's older brother. Really? We all come from like one house. One musical family. No, yeah. We actually like... Same family. So Spada KVS Bush Baby X rated Max the duo called Machemeze. Mm -hmm. And Machemeze to Unemago, if you understand, like, you know, the, the, the lingo. It's like you don't want to be there, you don't want to mess with us because we are, you know, hard. It's like Wu Tang, right? Ah. Yeah. No, nah, hip hop never dies nice, for play. real. For real. <laughs> for real, for real. No, that's dope, man. That's dope. So like you've got a way of introducing yourselves in many tracks uh, at the beginning you say yeah it's bush baby and yeah. then you say some other things like yeah. is it like a an ego thing or is it so with me i usually i do not say anything without particular meaning because mm -hmm. the difference that i have with most of the artists that i work with is most of them are like freestyle artists mm -hmm. they're like impulse artists they work with their gut like whatever comes out of their gut is what they're saying at the time i'm more of a poet i'm a writer i sit down i plot i pick things up and i have to say it in certain ways mm -hmm. so let's say for example say like bush baby in the place to be kind of sounds like just like a catchphrase yeah but in the place to be is pretty much just like me telling y'all that where i'm at right now 
is the most important it's place most to be place. at in the whole universe, right? right. <laughs> Which is exactly the same with you and everybody else. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you take your inner divinity to, mm -hmm. Is the place to be. It's the right? place to be. You can get so currently Terminal One is, is the, the place, place to, to be. be. You know all right, all yeah. right, awesome. No, I dig that. I dig that. I dig that. So, word on the street is you worked with DJ Tamuka recently. Yeah. All right. Can, can we talk Cats about that? Cats out of the bag. Cats yeah. out of the bag. Awesome. All right. Getting a little scoop, like yeah, ice cream. Yeah. So, like, what, what was it like working with DJ Tamuka? He's one of the most um, accredited producers in Zim. Yeah. Very well-known dude. He's working yeah. with, like, gang people from Military Touch as well. So, like, okay. how did you come about to working with DJ Tamuka? How did I get to work with DJ Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, DJ Tamuka is also from Gweru. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And... Um, he showed up at one of our recording sessions. He was going to see, there's a legend, there's a guy who used to do reg. He's still active. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's like one of the greatest artists I've ever been with. Like a guy called Man Soldier. So Man Soldier is the serpent's dad. So he's like Tamuga's uncle or whatever. So Tamuga comes to see Man Soldier and mm -hmm. then he hears what we're working with in the studio. So he kind of just pops in and invites us to come to his studio in Harare, yeah. which we let her do. But for some reason, I had to go to Egypt. Long story short, I came back. I was really ill. And I went out. I was just trying to be out and about. And I met a guy mm -hmm. who happened to be DJ Tamuga's younger brother. So it's like wow, full circle. And then I ended up back here. And now it's like, yeah. Wow. We having business discussions and... Things are in the pipeline. That's all I can say That's without violating say. the NDA. NDA. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you really need to make yeah. sure that you stick to what they For say. Real. Oh, no, so that's super interesting. Yeah. So, like, you really come from, like, a musical family. I mean, you, Serpent, his younger brother, the dad, yeah. who's also DJ Tamuka's uncle, uncle. And then he also has a little yeah. brother who's in the stew, you. So, like, if you have any future Bush baby babies... They're probably going to be like in the music industry too. I mean, would you, would you want to like direct them in the music industry? What's interesting is if you ask me now, if I want my kids to be in the music industry, mm -hmm. no. Why? To be honest. Why? Um, Like at the end of the day, they make their own choice. Mm -hmm. But I feel like as far as, um, cause with me, it's more of like, how do you articulate what you have or how do you make people's lives much better with what you do like mm -hmm. just using your energies mm -hmm. the music industry is a powerful like industry there's a lot of money in it mm -hmm. but i've just seen way too many people getting broken by it like out of for all of for one successful artist you see there's usually like 20 or yeah, like 30 yeah the right. like there's a trail of like failed artists if you want to call them mm -hmm. and the music industry is harsh like it's not yeah, for someone who is my child, I don't want them to, to go, through, go through, yeah, and having to, like, deal with certain people, mm -hmm. particularly if they are, like, like my daughter, right? Yeah. Then I'll be super, super protective because mm -hmm. we're still trying to figure out how we can do our way with the whole, like, you know, misogyny in the mm -hmm. industry because it's, it's very misogyny. yeah, like, I... I cringe sometimes. I mean, studios and whatever. Like, I see things happen and I'm like, man, I don't want my daughter to go through that mm. for real. All right. So, I do get the activism part from your music. Yeah. There is this particular song. I'm not quite familiar with the title. I forgot. But one of the lines that you say, you're just talking about um, social injustice. Injustice. Yeah. Uh, so, one of the lines... Forgive me if I miss Kochi because you are quite school, deep school. sometimes. You're talking about how if the music thing doesn't pay out, yeah. right? You, I think you'll start a church. Yeah. And I'll, then, I'll become a false prophet. Exactly. Yeah. That line, those lines, are you able to like just. Man, my mom hates that song. <laughs> Why? Because she was around when I was recording it. And? So she's hearing like all of these things I'm saying. And she didn't get the context, mm -hmm. right? Because what I'm saying is if this music thing fails, I might as well do something totally like crazy, like becoming a false prophet and mm -hmm. then lying to people and, you know, just being a, uh, a charlatan. And, but then I wasn't saying that in the sense of like me seriously wanting to be yeah. a charlatan, but I was wanting to shed light on, what's on the charlatans happening. themselves. Yeah. yeah. It's a story pretty much of like me wanting to shed light on the charlatans mm -hmm. themselves because now like, 
you do realize faith is a human need, right? Mm-hmm. People need God. They do. And it's like, if you go to your well where you drink water from, and someone comes and poisons that well, mm-hmm. especially if that well like supplies water to a lot of people. The whole community, yeah. Yeah. I think to me it's kind of satanic to have to claim to have responsibility for many people's souls and mm-hmm. not be serious about it. I think there's nothing as hideous as that. So I wanted to just point out to what these guys were doing because mm-hmm. literally what they do is they lie to the people and they claim to have the spirit, but they are really abusive sometimes. Fraudsters sometimes, you know. Yeah. yeah. They do the worst to women as yeah. well. And, and they it, need to stop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even the ones that are being alluded as like celebrities because do you realize that's how the road spreads right mm. like when you put someone up as an as someone to look up to and mm. then they are doing the, that whole thing yeah totally yeah totally spoils, spoils a lot yeah of yeah no that's true that's true all right so since you like using innuendos a lot yeah um i was you know doing my research yeah and i came across a story if you was on instagram about okay. a song that you wrote behind bars so like did you mean that in a bush baby type of way like no i was behind this bar yada yada oh you literally no like literally i wrote the song behind bars in in china why what happened well it's a long story but i got involved with okay so i was i was in china for a master's degree program Mm -hmm. and then i ended up like leaving school because the agent turned out to be fraud Mm -hmm. i was there for a master's degree in entrepreneurship and i end up doing like certificate in teaching and curriculum methodology or something crazy like that something different so i was mad right so i was like i approached the dean of students like yo what's happening Mm -hmm. and then this guy said if if you're not happy with what you're doing go back to africa which is not a kind thing to say so i kind of like okay this is what we're going to do you're not going to cancel my visa and i'm just going to do whatever I'm going to do in China to repay my mom, the, mo- the, the money that my mom paid for me to get here. Mm-hmm. So I started performing. We recorded music, performed it, yeah, which was illegal, by the way, because oh. I was on a student on visa. A student visa yeah. I got into trouble a couple of times, but it wasn't worth getting us into trouble like mm-hmm. that. But then one of the people in my band, because it was like a seven group band, mm-hmm. yeah, got involved with some guys who were tr- selling legal stuff mm-hmm. and then he got arrested and they did the whole thing like oh who are you in the uh, with? oh you staying with these guys uh, and that okay. guy oh you're actually performing music and it's illegal and so we got detained for like 20 days wow. it wasn't much but yeah it was looking back at it it's cool experience though. <laughs> yeah because like if someone is to like put you in the you know the whole regime of like hip-hop artists you can you kind of like check all the boxes i mean he's he's been in jail you know even though like it's detention right, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like you still kind of you can say to like other rappers like yo i'm different I'm yo you know cardi b uh made all of these girls like guys who went to jail like Cardi B was like, I'm not, I'm not dating a guy if he's never been yeah, in jail. Yeah, he's never been to right? jail. Right, so now you know I can always be like, girl, you know I've been in jail. She's gonna be like, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but like jokes aside though, mm-hmm. those are the things that I feel hip hop can do better without. Yeah. Like misogyny, like the whole allusion to crime, mm-hmm. like even certain competitive nature that spills into physical harm, right? Yeah. I don't think we need that, mm-hmm. right? Like for real, for real, we need kids to stay in school. Mm-hmm. We need kids to listen develop to their, their spirituality. They yeah. need to listen to their parents. Mm-hmm. They need to find love and stick to it. One person. One person, exactly, right? Like we just need to kind of level it up. Yeah. I think there's certain elements of culture that needs to be to get gotten rid of real all right cool no problem all right so wow i mean i wish this conversation could go on <laughs> yeah. and on and on yeah but like um for the kids out there listening or the up-and-coming yeah. artists yeah what word of advice would you give them man it's a lonely road mm. don't yeah don't mind everything that everybody will tell you but you should be prepared to be alone You should prepare to be alone in the dream. You should be prepared to be alone in the chase. Mm -hmm. But it's all good because that is, you need to make sure that you are worthy of your sufferings. 
to say it in a hermetic philosophy type thing. Yeah, like you need to be worthy of your sufferings because mm-hmm. all of the blessings that come or like the harvest that come out of hard work mm-hmm. are all worth it. Indeed. You can't put a price on it. No. For sure. Awesome, man. Well, thank you so yeah. much for coming through. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank, you. thank uh, Terminal 1 for sure. Oh, yeah, for I've sure. I've been itching to get here. Really? Real. Like I've been watching the whole thing. I'm like, yo. You need Can't to get on to it. Get there. Oh, like you say, Terminal One is the place, place to, to be. be. So you better make sure like, yeah. comment, subscribe, Spotify, YouTube, TikTok, all that, all, all that. that, all there, that. There, also everywhere. follow Bush Baby X Rated mm-hmm. on Instagram. Bush Baby X Rated on, on Instagram, Facebook. Facebook, YouTube. He's everywhere. Yeah. Listen to his music. He's got some really hot stuff that's coming through. Yeah, for awesome. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.